question for Don from We the People. Don, what are your favorite John Wayne movies? All right. Well, I know there's True Grit, uh, The Searchers, uh, The Alamo. Uh, I like to shoot us his last movie. That was good. There's, there's always the classic, The Quiet Man. Yeah, The Quiet Man, absolutely. Absolutely. See, I can relate to that. The oh, Quiet really? Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the horse pulling the back in there. <laughs> I, you know, the quiet man I liked until I went through my divorce and, uh, you know, maybe believing in all that bullshit about falling in love is all Hollywood bullshit. So, uh, I liked, I liked the shootest uh, to where he's betrayed by everybody. You know, and he's dying. Uh, you know, and then uh, True Grit is where he's he's alone and uh, gonna die alone. You know, and uh, it's kind of like Clint Eastwood. And, uh, you, you get a feeling for things like that when you when you fucking wake up from a coma and there's nobody there. You know. <laughs> Nobody answered the phone. <laughs> hmm. What about you, Dan? What kind of movies? What kind of movies do you like? Well, I mean, it, it, uh, to be that that went through all, all basically all the, the John Wayne. I, I've just been a big fan of John Wayne films. Uh, you know, growing up, same way with the uh, Clint Eastwood films. I enjoyed uh, both of these guys yep. in their careers, and uh, yeah. I think Clint Eastwood still puts out a movie every now and then. He does a great yeah. job. Yeah. He's a phenomenal director now, you know, and he still does, you know, acting, but it's just phenomenal. Yeah, so I get it. Enjoyed, enjoyed both both uh, bits of uh, their, their careers and what, what they they brought to the table. So I think you like this, and we got, we got a, oh, a question you? in for you. Really? Just in hot off just the press? In, okay. Uh, from Todd. Queen, Queen, Queen must have wrote one in for yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, what do you think of everybody else? <laughs> he would like to know, why did you pull out of the Brawl for All tournament in the WWF after you won your first match? And what are your thoughts on the tournament? Okay, the, the first day was? Todd. Todd. Well, Todd, uh, I was not allowed to be in the Brawl for All in the first place. When the various uh, road agents gathered up all the talent into the, uh, into the cafeteria area, they started to talk about this concept of this brawl for all, and they said only two two people would not be allowed to be in it. That was Ken Shamrock and myself. And once they said that, and one of the road agents that had me stand that close to by, I just simply just said, "Well, if I'm not going to be in this, do I have to bother sitting here listen to any more of this?" Like, no, I could go, so I, I left. So the brawl for all again, I, I I did watch it because I met these various um, brawl. Of all uh, match shows that were taking place, and uh, as I'm, I'm waiting to see if I'm going to be, if my match is going to take place that night or not, uh, one of the road agents comes up to me and says, "Hey, Dad, how would you like to be at the Brawl for All tonight?" And I'm like, "What? Against who? How much?" They gave me a name. They gave me a price tag. I go, "Sure." I said, "But I don't want to wear boxing gloves because they were wearing, I think, 18 ounce gloves at the time." I said, "I just want to go out there." You know, without the gloves on, and I go, you can't go out there, better not go to big punch guys. I go, I go, I, I won't throw a single punch, and I will show you what it really. Trust me. <laughs> I don't think that was a, a, a vote of confidence there. I, I, I do know how to hold my, I do, I do know how to hold my fist there, right? Did you watch my fights in the UFC? <laughs> So, and I just simply said that I would never throw a single fight, uh, single, throw a single punch, and I'd show them what a real wrestler could do. And, uh, but basically they said I had to wear, you know, in hindsight, if that was, if I could do like that match over again, uh, I'd get out there just to have the referee to say, take the gloves off, it's all part of the, the act, and blah, 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 and I would have went out with what I did. As it was, you know, I took down uh, my opponent there was was the godfather that took him took him down really well and I threw him a few different times and uh, basically had my way and once the match was done I came back out and the same road, great road agent that approached me about being in it says now you're out of it so it's kind of like I was never in it in the first place 
that out of the blue, I'm in it for one match, and then the match didn't go quite the way I think they were hoping for, and now I'm back out again. So I like to think of it as some rather pompous individuals all sitting around a table, partaking of a few barley pops, maybe a few harder uh, cider drinks, and being braggocious and using other people like pawns trying to get their kicks out of it. So that's what I kind of equated up to there, Mr. Fry. Can you follow me along on that game of chess? I'm sorry, I was sleeping? You, oh, okay. you lost me at... Uh Hello. I lost you. Hello, right? Yeah, okay. You lost me at the game or the, the hallway or road agent. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Moving along there. Well, this, this next question is from Mike Brady, 86. Wow. He wants to know your bulldog's name. Quinn. Quinn. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about Quinn. I could, but I'm not going to. So go fuck yourself. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn is the love of my life. I got Quinn back in 2018, um, 2016, September 2016. Look at that face right yeah. there. Just look at that face. Look, huh? at, look at that face. It's only it's a sweet butt. Okay. 20, September 2016, I had a reconstructive surgery on my back because I'd broken the rods two years earlier didn't know and I came out of the surgery for four days checked out of the hospital said bye but not bring on had a hemorrhagic stroke so they brought me back put me in a coma for three weeks and then I came out and I was in uh, rehab you know physical rehab for two months in the hospital you know learn how to eat and shower and walk and all that good stuff so that I finished 2016 and 2017 can't remember <laughs> but 2018 went up saw a buddy of mine Tommy Ranger up there you know you introduced me to and um, one of his business partners had a son named Mike Mike had two bulldogs one was a six and a half she had had a hip dysplasia surgery and a bad knee and they had Quinn and Quinn was just a holy terror. She just played too rough. He says, I gotta get rid of her. And I said, shit. She looks like my old bulldog. I'll take her. He said, well, there's a whole line of people for her. And I said, well, I'm here now. Put her in the truck. <laughs> you at the front of the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God bless him. God bless him. He did. Thank you, Michael. She is a... Yeah, but, okay, but the bulldogs... I had, you've had more than just Quinn, though. Yeah, she's the third, yeah, third, third one. Because I, I just, again, I remember when you were at, uh, were rooming with a couple of my younger brothers and you guys had, yeah, you had... Wizard. Wizard, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wizard, not wizard. Oh, okay. Yeah, wizard was just like her, except Patch was on the other side, other eye. And he was probably twice her size, you know. He's a big monster. And, yeah, he... Fit in real good in that house. He'd climb up on the table <laughs> and help himself. Yeah, yeah. Stick his nose in the bowl of a uh, uh, bean dip. <laughs> guess it's mine now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he didn't know how to share though. With him. I don't think the wrestlers probably might a little bit share a little. No, bit he didn't bother. He didn't slow your brother Rod down at all. <laughs> Rod just worked around him. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you said, oh, but you said. So you had what, what other one though? So that'd be third. What was the yeah. other one? Uh, when Katie was six years old, I bought her a English bulldog, a little puppy, and she named it named her named her Princess. And Princess was a really good dog, you know. Princess to Quinn to Wizard to Princess to Quinn, yeah. And Quinn's just spitting image of Wizard, just a female and half his size. Yeah. Same. Same attitude. <laughs> and look at that bug. Look at that bug. Yeah. <laughs> so, alrighty. I hope we answer that question right there. <laughs> I think that was good. So, Michael Martinez would like to know, Dan and Don. Look, Mar Michael Martinez, piss on you, Michael. You owe me some push-ups, kid. 
lazy bastard. He would like to know with the two of you guys. You know? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if he owes you some push ups, I think. Okay, all right. You yeah, I know the weak fucking bastard. <laughs> Well, Dad, don't sugarcoat it, but why don't you tell me a little what you're actually feel about this right now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. He'd like to know what you guys think about Jake Paul. Who's Jake Paul? Good answer. I, I, I second it right there. I, would, I won't, won't give any airtime. I like it. I got one, one other comment here, just kind of, you guys answered a question for this guy, Pete from Phoenix last time. He wanted to say, I thank you both for answering my question and I hope you two are in good spirits and health. Also, Don, I'm not sure if you remember a Nicole Rodriguez who used to work at First Family Medical Center. She's my mom and she says hi. Hello, Nicole, how you doing? Yeah, very nice of you to kick your son out of the house and then bring him back in, that was nice. Get him off the street. Holy balls. But you're a good woman, Nicole. And she must be a good woman to tolerate this crusty old fart. Uh, she was in love with me, man. It was embarrassing. She called me at 3 o'clock in the morning, begging me to, you know, it's just embarrassing. I, shameful, I, I, think shameful. That, I think that was just it, just to check on your drip, you know, for morphine drip or something like that. I, you know, I think that's all that was. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure that was, yeah. Could have been. To get all confused right there, or maybe to, you know, empty your bed pad or something like that. Well, as long as I have you around, I don't need morphine. <laughs> and a bed pad, too. Quit. Get him. Get him. Quit. Get him. Quit. That's all we got for fan questions right now. Okay, well, that's... Right. I got, thank, what, 25? Yeah, you got one. Yeah. They, they, thank goodness there for the, the, the Don Fry fan club questions. Yeah, the Don, the Don Fry question yeah. hour, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I feel like the janitor right now. <laughs> you guys do a sign off? Yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> that's it. All right, okay. we're out. Go away! Okay, I'll just, I'll put a little more alcohol there. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Don and Dan's Toxic Masculinity for a good dose of some uh, harsh reality. I sure have had a rather bitter dose here today. Yes, yeah, poor Dan. <laughs> but don't worry, folks, he'll forget about it in about two seconds. Sighting off. <laughs>